So hello and welcome to a film mixologist, uh, the place on the internet thingy where even the experts can sometimes be a little bit confused. Case in point this unit um, that we got here in front of me. So this is a wholly two barrel carb um, and it's weird whether this is a marine carb or not. Obviously it has a lot of features of marine carbs so the shaft is definitely a marine shaft obviously it's painted and it's got and it's got a choke so all of that's good but what happens it hasn't got a j pipe which i would expect you know to to, to find a marine car and also when i go to my manual and i'm going to consult my manual which is you know my illustrated spots and specs so what it says here this is a list 4412 that's that's the list number yeah and if i go here 4412 it says ford and chevy chevy high performance 500 cfm hand choke what so obviously this is a high performance carb evidently it's is is like the most high performance two barrel carb that holly made but you know in here it's telling me that it should be a manual choke it's got a kind of electric choke in here uh, which is broken I'll show, I'll show you in a bit and then this carb is clearly marine look at the linkage so I'll show, I'll show you a bit closer and I'll show you why I'm, I'm a bit I'm a bit puzzled okay so let's go through the bits that are definitely marine this linkage definitely marine um, this bit of paint here this would suggest that it is a marine carb obviously all the carb is painted all marine carbs generally tend to have uh, electric chokes unfortunately this one is broken here so all of this body would need to be replaced at the very least and also this is a clearly a marine shaft so all of the stuff that gives me the clue that this is this this is a marine carb problem is as i said before it hasn't got a j pipe in here and as, and as you can see list 4412 um, so I'm a little bit puzzled about this. So I'm gonna try and see when I, when I, when I, when I, when I, when I restore this unit. Uh, I'm gonna try and, and see uh, whether this I can convert it to an automotive application, or do I just you know service it back uh, as if it was a marine unit. Um, but in the meantime, why don't we uh, try to take this unit apart uh, and see a little bit what we're working with. Okay, so sometimes you do get lucky with this sort of things um, because apart from minor details, this unit is actually in pretty good nick and relatively, you know, easy to rebuild. Obviously, we've got the issue of, um, um, you know, the, the, the choke that's like broken here and it would require, would require no one. But, you know, apart from that, this is definitely not the end of the world. And crucially, there's there's a lot of other bits that are very good. Uh, so I'll show you I'll show you a bit closer. 
Okay, so as you can see the fuel bowl inside here, this is quite clean. Same with the bottom of the accelerator pump and the uh, metering block. So that's actually, you know, pretty decent. Um, and the body as well is, is in quite good shape. Um, obviously there was a little bit of corrosion around the shaft, the choke shaft and the choke flap. But anyway, that, that, that this is going to be relatively easy to remedy. Um, also, we are going to have to do some chemical blacking in this. So this are going to have to be, you know, fully restored the throttle plates. But again, there's nothing. There, there's, there's no big secrets here. Um, so I think what we need to do now is to try and get these units uh, nice and clean uh, and see if we can just slam this back together. Although I'm, I'm still doubting whether I'm going to uh, put a electric choke or I'm going to put a manual choke, as it says, uh, in the manual. But let's, let's first clean it up and see, and see where we end up with. Okay, so it's been <coughs> several days later and, <coughs> and I think we're starting to go places uh, with this build. Uh, so we are in a in a in a good kind of intermediate position to um, do all the um, do the the final assembly. But first, uh, a couple of things th which I always mention is the importance of checking the manual, checking manual for jets and the right power valve, which in this case is a 73 main jets and a 55 power valve. It uses a 50, but if you go like 0.5 out of it it's okay so it, it's gonna work absolutely fine but but that's kind of an important stage in the build so that you are make sure that you put in the right things the other thing that I'm gonna show you obviously I've done the uh, the float I checked that that the flow works and this is all this is all good primo so the final thing I want to show is this the throttle plates that as you can see they've been chemically blackened now this is quite this is important in general but especially with marine calves because they are subject to much more corrosion and therefore it's very important for the throttle plates to kind of have this treatment um and basically what it is is just um allowing um it's passivating this surface so the chemi chemical blackening really is a, a corrosion uh, protection and mitigation uh, issue okay so let's now let's let's try you know slam this unit back together uh, and then what we need to do is obviously replace the, the the choke body that was you know broken and this is a marine car we're gonna have to do the old uh, kind of mask it up to paint and then paint it up so as you can see here, I've got the unit um, completely done, ready to, you know, sell, to send it to, you know, a customer. So I want to reflect on, on a couple of things that make these things, um, you know, fit for service or how to make them right. Um, so let me bring it a, a bit closer. So obviously you can see the uh, paint, which is kind of or literally every surface of the car has been painted and this is to protect from corrosion uh, this is quite important in marine carbs of, of of this service one thing that i didn't show in previous segments is that i did do the chemical blacking for the choke flap and the choke shaft we can sometimes be subject to corrosion as well um so again this is this is quite important uh, the, the, just to give the unit kind of a longer life and also we, we've done the choke again the original choke had a had a connector for the vacuum round here so what i did is it's going to rely on internal vacuum so i'm putting i'm putting this vacuum cap here um but other than that uh this this unit is now um ready to go uh, and be you know pressed uh back into service um so to speak one thing i am going to say though before i finish uh about the parts that i do chemical blacking is that 
the the way to make them good so to make sure that they're not gonna rust again the trick is when you finish the process is is to let them dry naturally and i'll show you how i do that um in a, in a sec so as you can see this is uh, kind of the corner of the workshop where i've got uh, where i've got my parts this is a secondary shaft uh, for a holy carb so what I do generally is I put all the parts in here. For example, I've got lots of, you can see throttle plates here. And what I do is I hang them and I let them dry naturally. And that is what makes them good. That's what really gives them that kind of protection against corrosion. So I hope you find that tip useful. That that is just literally a piece of wood with some with some nails onto it, and that's it. And you can just hang your hang your bits from there. But anyway, I want to say thank you for watching this episode, and see you in the next episode.